Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It looks like my computer has decided to cooperate with me today. Not fully, <laughs> I gotta say. I've been spending the last um, half an hour or so um, trying to find the post I had created. I created a post um, yesterday just so I could have um, the voting uh, done automatically. I thought I would try that out and see how that went. Um, and the post is nowhere to be found, so that obviously didn't go up. So what I'll do is, um, after this live, I'll um, jump on and I'll uh, put up a post and put the images for uh, the Saturday's painting party so you guys can vote on those. Um, so my apologies that it's not up already as I normally like to have it up around noon on Tuesday. But um, good things will come to those who wait, so it'll be good. Um, so I think we will be um, starting in a moment. I'm just going to give it a few minutes uh, just to, um, in case anyone else is going to be joining us. Um, I'm going to just get the image ready to go on my phone as we do that, and I'll prep. Here I have my phone ready to go in case um, my laptop or the live dies out on here like it did so quickly on Saturday on our first session. Um, so hopefully positive thoughts and that won't happen this time. So I'm just going to get this going, so I have the image on my phone, there it is. Okay, great. So we're going to be doing, so I want to do an inspiration image on this picture. There, there's no glare there. So um, I posted this onto the post um, talking about uh, this live session. So if you haven't already done so, I suggest having it available for you so you can just have it as a reference as we go through. I'm just going to set it up right here beside um, my computer there. As you guys jump on, please uh, feel free to say hi in the comments because that would be really great um, to see who's joining and who will be painting along with me. Um, one of the things that I'll be doing um, differently from this image is um, I definitely want to have like a black background on here. I think it will be really neat to see, oh, so glary, to see the colors pop on black. Um, and because this is, um, I'm working from like a square reference, um, my uh, canvas is an 8 by 10 um, so it's obviously not a square. Um, it's going to be a little bit different so I kind of going to play with it and then maybe add a little bit more to it to kind of um, fill it out a bit more. Um, I think I'm going to do it in like landscape style and I'll move my camera over once I get started in the painting in a moment or two. Alright, cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting some paint on my canvas and then we will go from there. So um, I definitely want to start off because I want to get this all painted black. So I think maybe what we'll do is um, let's just start painting that fully black right away. So what, the way I'm going to do that is um, since I want it all pretty solid black, I'm actually going to put the paint um, and just kind of squirt it right onto the canvas itself. And I'm just kind of putting it all over. Not a heck of a lot. I definitely just put some of my pants. Caught, be cautious of that. <laughs> Luckily, I'm wearing full pants, so it's not a big deal. They already have paint on them, anyways. And I'm just gonna put the paint on this canvas and just get the whole thing fully black. And I'll again, once um, we get fully into it, I'm just gonna paint the back of the canvas right now. The reason why I want to get this fully painted and I'm doing it a little like early-ish is because I want this to be fully dried before we start actually putting all of the, the flowers and everything else on here. I don't want the black to run into it. With acrylic paint again, like when it's wet, it's great to blend and it will blend beautifully. But if you don't want things to blend, then it's, it won't be your friend if you don't let it dry fully. Hey Alex, thanks for joining today. Always excited to see your work. Alex likes to, um, she's a watercolors, so when you see in the comments, um, as I ask you guys to like post your images, if you check out her pictures, um, she'll also do like, she'll always do like a watercolor version of whatever we're doing, which is super cool to see her interpretation and um, how it comes out. So definitely check it out. I think you guys will really enjoy it. So I'm just using like a big brush and just going all over the place to paint my canvas fully black. I'm running out of finger spots that I can hold this in. 
Okay, and I'll set up my camera, like I said, a little better once we start actually painting the flowers. You don't really... You paint at the back of the black, it's not really necessary to see it, I don't think. <laughs> Okay. So I'm also trying to decide, I'm using like a canvas board, it's very small. I also realized that um, the previous shipment of canvases that I had, um, which I thought were 8x10s, were in fact 9x12s. So when I actually got my 8x10 canvases, <laughs> I realized how small they were um, and it blew me away. Um, <laughs> so last couple of videos where I've been saying I've been using an 8x10 canvas board that was not accurate that it was actually a 9x12 so anyone who's um, keener at math and can estimate things better on size probably saw that <laughs> when I use all my painting and other ones but um, that is not my forte so yeah I misjudged that. So yeah, so these I feel like, I feel like this canvas is so tiny. So tiny. Oh, I'm painting my cup too. Oh. There we go. Maybe I shall move my tape because I feel like I'm going to get paint in there today. Okay, so I'm just going to continue just painting the back. Get this fully in black. And we're going to get every, all the other colors to pop on here. I'm really excited. I think it was um, Helen was saying that she was going to be joining us, and I think she had a 16 by 16 canvas, and I think that's going to look freaking phenomenal in that size and that um, as a square number one. I think that will is going to turn really nice, but that size is going to be so awesome. I'm so excited to see how hers turns out. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this set. I did the sides, so if you're just joining us, um, I'm just starting off. So we're going to be doing this flower image Whoop. nope yes there and so I'm just uh, what I want to do instead of the kind of green and pinks and stuff that have a little showing in the background I want it to be a fully uh, black background and then I'm going to be painting on top of that so I just have um, a pretty thin uh, but fully covered uh, coating of black all over my canvas um, and I want my canvas I'm going to be using it that portrait there. Or not portrait, landscape is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so let's get going. Ah, uh, you're using an 8x10 wood board. Oh, that's going to look so pretty, Diana. I'm so excited. That's going to look so nice. I haven't, um, I haven't practiced or I haven't done any painting directly on wood. Um, and I really want to try because I've seen some really beautiful things online. Um, so I'm really, I can't wait to see yours when you share it. That's so cool. Because you already have the grainy texture of the wood coming through as well, so that's going to really add some really nice character to it. Okay. So I'm just rinsing off my brush, which now has made my water fully black, which I should have remembered from when we did our lilacs painting a few weeks ago. That exactly happened too. So I'm just going to run and get rid of this fully black water because that's not going to help me when I need my yellows. Uh, it would be like a minute and I'll come right back. Awesome. Alright. Super fast. Hi, Becky, from Athens, Ontario. I'm not exactly sure where Athens, Ontario is, so I'm going to have to look that up. I always find it interesting how Ontario has so many European-named places all over it. I mean, it makes sense, but uh, it's very interesting. So I have my tea, which is a little cold. I'm going to move it right away from everything because uh, I do get paint everywhere. Okay. All right, so it's almost dried, my the canvas itself. I'm just going to put my hair up so it stays out of frame, hopefully, and out of my way. 
and we're gonna get started. Perfect. So I'm really excited. Um, so thank you all. Um, like I said, I woke up yesterday and I saw there was over 300 followers, and it makes me really excited. Um, this has been giving me a lot of uh, like purpose during this whole um, situation that we're all going through. Um, so yeah, so painting has been something I've, I've loved. Um, I don't do this professionally. It's always been just uh, a hobby and something I really like doing. So to find other people who are enjoying it, um, it's it's great. So thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. Okay, so as this continues to dry, I'm just going to get my paint ready on my canvas. We are south and west of Ottawa. Oh, okay. Okay. We have, um, hmm, that's not, that's like an hour away from Ottawa. Um, we have family in Renfro. So I don't know if that's, that's like south. Is that west? I'm not sure. Oof, my yellow's kind of gross. Hey, Lindsay! Oh, awesome! I'm so glad you guys are both painting with me today. That's so fantastic! Oh my gosh. So, I don't know if you guys have seen this with acrylic paint, but um, the paint likes to dry sometimes inside the tube. <laughs> so, you might get, might be hard to like come out. And if it dies, it comes out in chunks, so just be cautious of that. Um, I'm using um, predominantly the basic colors, the yellow, red, and blue, black, and white. However, I'm getting a little bit low on my yellow and uh, my red. Um, I do have a pre-made orange, so I'm going to be using that a little bit. Um, so if you don't, um, again, like if you have like the basic colors, you can make any color you want with this. Um, but um, I'm in a little bit of a jam at the moment, so I'm just going to be using some of the pre-made colors just so I'm not um, wasting too many of the basics as well. So I also have a pre-made pink, a 2D fruity that I use on the peacock for anyone who joined us on that one. That was super fun. That took so long to do, <laughs> but it turned out so nice. But oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just get my canvas going. All right. Cool. So it looks like I am dry. There's like a couple little wet spots, but we're going to start it off and see how it goes from there. Okay. So I'm going to get one of my like more medium. I actually went a little bit smaller on my brushes because my canvas was so much smaller. Um, so I'm going to start off with um, blocking in um, a few of the flowers. I think I'm going to start off with like that orangey kind of colored rose that's sits on the corner here to kind of block off the painting. So let me just set this up so my canvas so you can see it more directly. Hopefully that works. Okay. And yeah, so I think it's kind of like a peachy color. I do think I want to stay very similar to that. Um, but I'm going to start with more of like an orange base and then maybe add some pinks to it. So with this rose, um, I'm just going to start in like kind of curved thick motions around where I want my rose to live and I'm not going to be too um, scared of the paint. I'm going to, if it comes on pretty thick, I'm going to let it be. It's going to look a little bit abstracty right now. And when I'm doing that, um, I, I don't. I want the lines to kind of get bigger on the outside of it. Hmm. I don't want. I want to get it off the page a little bit there, because that rose kind of falls off the page. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So. some lines like that and build the rows and then in the middle I want it to be more solid and then I'm going to be putting in the the middle part of that in a moment so I'm just using full-on orange right now just to kind of block out where I want this rose to live 
So just pick whichever color you want to go with as like kind of like the main feeling. And then I'm going to put another one that's going to kind of come out. So this petal is going to be like, it's going to come out a little bit instead of, it's not going to follow 